Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I'm gonna show you a game between Nitro Short and Vlastimir Babula. This is the game from the Chess Olympiad, played in 2012. Vlastimir Babula played with black pieces, was a Czech champion in 1993, and a top world junior player. Let's have a look at the game. Nigel Short had white pieces and he started with e4. Vlastimir Babula played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4. Defending, e6, Scheveningen, structure. White to move. Bishop to e2 is the most played move. Nigel Short played a very sharp one. g4. This is known as the Keres attack. Whoever invented this must have been very good. a6. g5. Knight from f to d7. h4. The pawn storm on the king side. Answered with the pawn storm on the queen side. A3. What a picture. Hmm? Bishop to b7. And we also know that white is planning to castle a queen side and black is intending to castle a king side to make it more interesting for us. Bishop to e3. Knight to c6, knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, h5, here they come, rook to c8, queen to d4, ready to castle the queen side and preventing bishop to e7, queen to c7, note that the rook and the queen are aimed at the pawn on c2, bishop to e2, Knight to c5, attacking the pawn on e4, defending, e5, queen to d2, bishop to e7, Nigel short, castled queenside, and Vlastimil Babula castled kingside, as predicted. Who is going to be faster and whose attack will be deadlier? How to continue the attack? Nigel short played g6, sacrificing the pawn. Last in Labula did not accept the sacrifice, he played knight to e6. If h takes on g6, h takes on g6, f takes on g6, rook from d to g1, white is standing better. You have knight to e6, king to b1, quiet before the storm. Rook from f to d8, knight to d5, attacking the queen. Bishop takes knight, what else? Pawn takes bishop, knight to c5. G takes on f7, check. King takes pawn. f4, intending to open f file. Bishop to f6, f takes on e5. Bishop takes on e5. Now very important move. Bishop to g4, attacking the rook. Rook to b8. The rook and the queen are no longer lined together on c2. Why to move? Short wants to play e6. But the knight on c5 is preventing that. What is the solution? Short captured the knight on c5. Queen takes bishop, bishop to e6 check, king to e8, queen to d3, eyeing the pawn on h7, king to e7, intending rook to f8, rook from h to f1, rook to f8, queen takes pawn on h7, queen to e3, preventing h6, queen to g6, rook to f2, white move. White, play the move and black resigned. Please pause the video 
and find the best move for white in this position. Nigel short paid h6 and Vlastimir Babula resigned. If queen takes pawn, queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, rook takes rook. If queen moves somewhere, let's say to g3, then bishop to g4, pawn takes pawn on h6, queen to h7 check, king to e8, rook to g1 attacking the queen, queen to h4 will come back to rook to g2. Now bishop to d7 check, king to d8, rook to g8 check, king to c7, bishop takes on b5, discover check, king to b6, rook takes rook, king to a5, queen to c7, check, mate. And if in this position rook goes to g2, then the queen to d7 check, king to f8, bishop to e6, threatening queen to f7 checkmate, queen to g7, rook from d to f1, check, bishop to f6, rook takes on g2, queen takes queen, rook takes bishop check, king to e7, rook to f7 check, king to d8, rook takes queen, king to c8, Rook to g8, check, mate. That is why Vlastimil Babula resigned in this position. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.